problem. No, it's still lagging. It's something with either my computer or EU4. Yeah, I'm still lagging. I'm gonna have to get used to it until I figure out what's going on. This is still lagging. Anyway, let's continue. Alright, I wanted to break the truce with... Oh, this is so hilarious. This guy's declared war on on, uh, Bru on Benin. Benin. And while, while their army is stuck over here. So Benin is actually winning. Funny. But um, I've seen it many, many times. By yikes. I really want to get this over with. Just look at the amount of lag, it's gigantic. You know the effect strobe looks like um, this is I'm looking like um, a seeing a slideshow or something. Okay, I'm gonna change something on OBS. Maybe it's OBS that's causing this problem. OBS received an update recently and... I don't trust OBS. OBS is, for me, is very buggy. I mean, it, it's good, but at the same time it's so buggy and... Let's see how this goes. You'll, you'll probably... See some... More... Um, some more pixelation. Let's see how this works, how this goes. If ch this changes anything. No, the lag is still here. Maybe this is a bug with the U4. I hope it's a bug. Sometimes... I get hit with some uh, annoying bugs. So, yeah. I remember, for example... I think it was in 1.14 when I was trying, or one or similar, when I was very near the end game or at the end game, the game was was um, lagging like really hard, even harder than this, and it had nothing to do with my system but with EU4. Maybe this is it's the same thing, or that's what's happening now. Goodbye, admin. It was nice knowing you. Hello, money's worth. Welcome back. It's EU4 for sure. Check, check ship and troop building. I don't, I'm not building anything. I'm not building anything as far as I remember.
Okay, let's continue. I guess I have to get used to it. Maybe it, it will go away. Seriously, this is like the third time this happens in a very short amount of time. Okay, give me the, the freaking penalty to the hard unity. And go away, stop bugging. Okay, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to declare war on Benin. Let's hope they stick around. Okay, let's go back to speed. So let's re uh, reduce the speed a bit. Maybe the lag will be more tolerable for me. We're spending 428 ducats in colonies. Colonizing... Around 10, 10 provinces. And there we go, some guacamole. Don't we, don't we just love it? But this is happening because I'm, I'm, I was silly. Should have waited when I was in the position to strike their troops. <laughs> These guys are gonna get, get instantly exiled. I, ho I hope these guys make the same mistake. Maybe the game is having trouble with the optimized trade. The transfer trade power loop is probably not optimized for these many merchants, says Ensign Toast. It can be that. It, it might be. Because, well... The lag started after I changed the, the trade. I was not... I was playing happily until I messed with the trade. That's the truth. I was not noticing any lag. But since my computer is now rather old, I was afraid it had to do with my computer. It was something to do with my computer. This is the motherboard from 2013. And the pro a processor from 2013. The graphics card is from 2015. So, I don't know, that thought crossed my mind, that's for sure. So, 1717, still have 104 years. Of course, these guys still have their army. A 
said 1717, 2017. The Alright, we have 100% so they can't say no, give me your stuff, good night. Can't card these because Molly has a card there. But Molly is going to die. <laughs> As soon as we take those farts. That's all that stands between us and the end of Mali. And maybe this overextension. Since if I don't do this, uh, some zombies will spawn. And I'm gonna embrace the the institution to spend these points. And I want to start by the... The most expensive provinces. Get them, get them out of the way. Because those take longer to... to it takes longer to change the culture. Looks like everything's raised. So, let's embrace the institution. The, the, the policy is there, so... Yeah, just look at this. It all became pretty cheap. Let's do the hardest ones first. This is me. This is me being. I mean, uh, playing safe. So get these ones out of the way. Moscow. Moscow. Yeah, Moscow. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to run out and get new. <laughs> ah, that was so funny, my um, money's worth. <laughs> I have to run out and get my new balls for my abacus. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the choco. <laughs> anyway, um, that was really funny. If 
Thanks again for the chuckle. So we have some zombies to kill over there. Let's let's put a stack on rebel suppression. One of these that's doing nothing. They'll take care of the rebels. Damn, damn, I get raised. Okay, let's see. Maybe I missed one. It could happen. Yeah, it's raised. Maybe it was already at three development. It couldn't be raised again. Arguably, it would be much better if I used, if I waited to become. Um, to become. Um, to reform. And enable the edict, the, the, the debate for the culture conversion reduction. But. We'll make enough. We'll we'll do well still. I need an, an Inquisitor. Come on, game. Stop being a dick. You have plenty of time. Just focus on deep. I'm focused. I'm one. I've been focused on deep for a very long time now. I know. I have the. I, I have the time. I think I'm. I'm and I have to be very unlucky, especially if I keep being a horde and raise all this stuff for points. Then reform. No, raise it for points, create client states, um, tributaries, then reform. Stop. Ugh. Okay, let's not waste time and start fixing this. Um, I can't. I need to wait for this to core. For this war to end. So these provinces to core before I can release one of those countries. Anyway, I'm gonna move these dudes to the new world. I also need to move the capital, so I guess I'm gonna regret Having um, the game keeps keeps annoying me. <laughs> I'm gonna regret having um, spent all those points. All right, I'm gonna focus this on admin for now. I'm gonna need admin. It's not much, but it's gonna help. The deep low conversions can wait. Seven, Give me a freaking... 
give me a freaking inquisitor, please. Okay, let's colonize some more. We have money, money is irrelevant. I mean, just serves one purpose, which is to help us achieve the objective. So let's keep colonizing. We have money. And we can still take a shit ton of loans. If needed be. If needed. Okay, that's that's gonna have to do. Tech 22, there's gonna be a jump in tactics from Tech 23 to Tech 24. And of course, these guys have all, all of them have Tech 24. So I have a, I have a 0.5 tactics disadvantage right now. What a fucking moron. I can't release a colonial nation, right? No, I can't. Do this, this is silly. Well, I almost screwed up. Let's see, let's leave this alone for now and focus on the islands. Did I just miss rubble? But this is not in a trade company region, okay. Let's focus on the islands, like I said. It's gonna... if I colonize the state... Or the... Um, a province adjacent to the capital, the game won't let me move the capital. To um To um, a... Colonial region. Come on. Let's maybe do another one. Could you show the religious map modes? Sure. It's almost everything is Sunni, with the exception of this area that I just conquered. This area. And that's pretty much it. It's smaller than what it looks. I need to reform. The plan was to make all these guys a tributary, then reform, but I can't do that while they hold provinces with the wrong religion, wrong culture. They refuse to convert it. Hmm. 
And this is exceedingly, this is extremely annoying. Could be making seven, 70 points a month from all these guys, right? Um, per year from all these guys instead. I'm gonna have to go attack them. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> so let's maybe go for Golden Horde Canada, maybe. Or maybe go for all of these guys at the same time, but... Go for Golden Horde Canada, then Golden Horde Louisiana, then this one, then that one. Work our way down, maybe. Speed for Australian Australia. Yes, yes, that's ridiculous. That's really funny. Because they have their capital over here. So, Australian Australia. That's really silly. Can we please score these? I'm gonna use the um, oopsie. I was thinking about using the. Um, how is it called? Uh, nationalism CV. However, if I use that, I'm gonna have to pay people for the provinces that are not from my culture. That would certainly be counterproductive. So the imperialism CV. That's so we'll use the imperialism CV instead. We reach a point. We're reaching a point where the the raising ability won't give us any points. Oh, I forgot about this one. Let's remove all of these. Convert. Convert the hardest ones first. It's time we should we start. It's time. We start converting the hardest provinces first. Just to avoid surprises, nasty surprises. Where a province needs 30 years to, to, to change culture. And we only have 29 years until the end of the game. Stuff like that.
This one, for example, needs 26, 20, 260 months to change culture. We can't see it, but we cannot see it, but that's... I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what um, that's the amount of time needed to do to change the culture there. As um, no, I never did. I never did the world conquest with uh, an Indian nation. Um, with exception of Nogur, but I don't think I actually did the World Conquest, or did I? Don't recall. Probably not, I just conquered Germany. And lots of other stuff. But I don't think it was a world conquest. Damn it, I just hit the microphone. Sorry about that. It's sad, seeing the provinces giving so few points. Like I said, soon it, it will be useless. I mean, for culture, for the objective of this campaign, it will never the raising will never be useless because raising reduces the amount of points needed. And the amount of time needed to culture convert a province. So it's, it will never be completely useless. But I'm gonna reform, so... Let's not think about it. So let's release Golden Hordes Canada. Switch these to the hardest ones first. If it has a cathedral, we convert. If it doesn't have a cathedral, we build one. Some clicking ahead of us, but it is what it is. Benin. Okay, let's build a cathedral here. In these these provinces. Then check this one year later. Check that list one year later to see to check on the hardest provinces.
<coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I also need to build the, um, the temples. The cathedrals over here. The game is not is not lagging as hard as before. So I don't know what the hell happened. Marco, did you take down some of your EU4 playthroughs from YouTube? I could have sworn you did an Orisa at some point. No, no. I never played as Orisa. You're... And I didn't take down any of my campaigns on YouTube. There, I have um, check the playlists. Um, it's they're all I have playlists for every series. I think I have dedicated playlists for EU4, every every single campaign is there, unless it's the newest one or the last two ones that I forgot to add, but the old ones are all in, I think in the front page, there's a, a playlist, uh, there's a, a section with all the playlists from EU4, all the playlists for Hearts of Iron, all the play, playlists for, you know, Hearts of Iron 4, Hearts of Iron 3, U4. I need to reform on the double. I have way too many provinces to be converted with just three missionaries I, I'm, I'm not gonna make it so how are we going to do this This one has a cathedral, let's convert it. So the world is pretty yellow. <laughs> oh, these guys survived. I need to send the stock over there. Fix it. Good night, Mr. Gongan. Keep on, Mr. Gong is saying good night. Keep on using those deep points. May I see the culture map mode before I get some sleep? Sure. Looks like we're almost done. But we're not there yet. So I need to decide what do I want to do. Attack 24 or something, the raising is going to be useless, I think. I think it's 24 or 25. So without further ado, I think we're going to reform Spain. Well, maybe uh, right after we raise these. Or not.
it's 4% per tech after tech 3, not 5. So that that would be tech twenty five. Yep, at four percent. So I said I think it's tech twenty five or twenty four. I don't recall. So it's four percent. So it's tech twenty five. But since we start with 20 points and not 25 points like we used to, and this is always changing, I wasn't sure. We have a point there, thanks for... So let's reform. This war is gonna take a while. We have some waiting ahead of us. Um, these guys are disloyal. They've allied everyone and their mothers, which sucks. Interesting, they're all, of course, they're all hostile because of the low opinion. This ought to be interesting. So I've made it my mind. I'm going to kill these guys. I'm going to have to kill them all because of the culture. The wrong culture provinces that they held, they held, they hold, and apparently they don't want to convert. With that in mind, I'm gonna start here in north. So I'm gonna release all the the guys in the south right about now. And hopefully make them all a tributary. They'll fight each other. I don't give a damn. I'm doing this because I need the points. After I reform, I can't make tributaries. Where the hell is Golden Horde? Did they accept or not? They did. No, they didn't. We have Canada on the map. They did accept. What the fudge? What the fuck's going on? Peru, Australia. I receive a message saying that my, the tributary state La Plata gave me gives me money, but it's not listed here. And over here, this is bad. Let's call this guy. Oh, right. I still have this dude from in. Um, still have this dude over here. Let's come back. Let's 
guys are gonna all become exiles short for a short period. Great events. Which reminds me. I probably should select another guy. I quite like these dudes. I also also like free stability and free admin. So this guy will do whatever. The, there's an ev event associated with level three advisors that gives the stability or admin if you're already at maximum stability. I guess I'm gonna release these guys too, whatever. So, um, Brazil. Instantly make a tribute, make them a tributary. They'll just rival each other and probably don't then. That's what's going to happen. So no issues with alliances, with annoying alliances. This must be like in Uzbek or something. Shagatai. Didn't I build a shit ton of temples here? I did, but I guess I missed this one. Air. Didn't I build temples over here? Nope. Let's fix it. Time to loan up. Okay, I will check that list one year from now.
These guys are tributary. Golden Heart, Colombia. Oh, come on, Colombia. Don't be a dick. As soon as they change their mind, they'll they want they'll be a, a tributary. They'll get over it. I just hope these guys don't ally each other. So we have Colombia on the map. Yay, the first ability. This one is, is really good. I could do a, 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 how do we say, a surgical strike and just take the provinces that I need. But I want to do damage, so... Probably this one. They're followed by the cannons. This one, then that one, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna take adjacent provinces, so this one's gonna save me military points. And the base is confused why I can't, I don't want my colonial nations under me. I said it several times. They have provinces with the wrong culture that they refuse to convert that's why unfortunately i'm gonna have to go beat them up since i can't go beat them all up at the same time i'm making them tributaries because in the meantime they'll give me points lots of them then i'll reform or i probably should go beat them up then take the provinces that i need then reform after creating a bunch of tributaries but i still have 100 i still have 60 years worth of points 60 70 12 times 12 that's 144 times 60 that's 8640 plus the one the points from the estates so that's another 16 another 600 and i still have some I can do the, the smaller provinces at the last moment, so I can still grab like to let's do this better just a moment. I'm 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 doing it as if the game ended in the year eighteen hundred to be on the safe side because provinces need time to be culture converted a lot of time so i have 80 years 80 years 80 years times 144 that's 11520 points plus 800 from the estates sorry not 800 uh, 600 that's 12,120 divided by 1.275. 
This means I can still culture convert 9662 development with the points that I'm gonna gain if I have the debates going. Yeah, we're totally fine. We're totally fine. So no problem, I can even do a, a true one tag. If I only culture convert when I have that edict, that uh, debate. Hello Sombrero, welcome. <coughs> no, no need to apologize. The Anapace, what are you saying? True, one tag, one religion, one culture. Yeah, and unless I'm mistaken, I'm gonna do it way before the year 1800. But I'm probably being um, very optimistic. I'm not sure. Then there's still the colonization thingy. Still have a shit ton of provinces to colonize. So where were we? Release another dude. Maybe Mexico. Don't be hostile. Don't be hostile. Don't be hostile. Don't be freaking hostile. How is the run going? It's going well, Flying Dutchie, and welcome. Hello and welcome. Golden Horde, Louisiana. It's your turn. Well, let's release them all. Screw it. I'm releasing them as I have um, diplomats. All exiled. Wonderful. We have Mexico on the map. Where are you going to put your capital? I'm going to put it in Jamaica. Right over here. Can't wait. We have the United States back on the map. And his worth must be proud. Oh, come on. United States, what the hell? We... And you wanna be my buddy, don't you? They are a great power. Seriously, stop being dicks. Yeah, I forgot about the distance between borders. Damn it. Totally forgot about... I released them all at once. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, shit, I just fucked up. Really hard. Anyway, I can always put a colony there. That should do it. Not sure it's worth the effort though. Because I'm gonna attack them. These guys just allied the United States just to annoy me.
Anyway, no problem, no problem at all. I wanna, I wanted to go with him up, didn't I? So that's fine. Let's bring these guys to the boats, or unexile them over here, whatever. It works too. And um, the thing, the downside with killing all these colonies is that they are colonizing each one of these dudes as a colonist. If I kill them all and go for the true one tag, I definitely need to be Russian. And to be Russian and colonize as, as Russia using the Siberian front, I need Diplo. Lots of it. Or I need uh, loads and loads and loads of money to colonize this really quickly. So, it's gonna be expansion, because I don't think I'll have Diplo for that, for all of that, that's... There's no way, at least I don't think so. Let's check it. Maybe I do, just find it hard to believe that... Uh, I left people for for all or everything. So there's like 166 Totemis provinces not colonized, along with another 107. Then we have a bunch of Tengri. I don't know, some 50, give or take. So we have around 300 and 23 provinces yeah maybe I do if, if I colonize all of these with the Siberian front it's, it's 6,000 points but of course I'm not gonna colonize all of it with the Siberian front so it should be okay If I form Russia, if I form Spain, I'm going to... I won't have core creation cost discount. So, after, maybe I should go murder these guys first. Raise the provinces, then core them. Only then form the... Spain. Okay, these guys will still give me some points. Let's send 280 days. Not terrible. That might be enough to make them a tributary. How to fix your merchants again, I think, says... Yeah. Because I lost a bunch of them. True. Yeah, lost much, lots of money here. It doesn't really matter much. But I do have to fix them all again. <clears throat> I mean, I can only do so much with 17 dudes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> again. Let's recall all of them again. This is hilarious. Recall. Venice, you'll stay there. English, you'll stay there. Recall. Yeah, we lost a bunch of money due to the lack of the merchants. Shit happens. 
Just look at the amount of money that I'm losing now. This is not up to date. This can't be right. This can't be right. Come on, stop being the dick. See you later, um, Paul. Thank you. Can you release Portugal or Spain for the from the right culture province? No, I can't. I can't do it right before the right before when I for example I've showed I said it a while ago yesterday I think so just imagine imagine this called these provinces about to change culture it's it's gonna change culture to my culture on the 6th of January on the 1st of February all these cars will be gone but if after these changes to the my culture Mishar culture until the end of the month these dudes will be here so when I press these Tuscany will receive the province and the province their only province will have the Mishar culture if we then find a way to make to make them go bankrupt They'll not only have this religion, but they'll also uh, have my co my my um, culture. And it's pretty easy to bankrupt them. You just need to give them a bunch of forts. Keep doing it until they go bankrupt. That's especially easy to do if they don't if they they belong to a shitty trade node and they have like uh, three development province. There's no way they can have money to pay for a level 8 fort, for example. Wow. Is this right? It can't be right. Maybe it is. Anyway, let's start to fix it. I, I really doubt that's right, but it's saying there are 200 and something ducats. So um, probably it's right, probably it didn't update, but since lots of months have passed, maybe it updated. <clears throat> so we have... Um, I still need more merchants. Yep. Looks that like that's right. I, w I go from 800 ducats to 260. So I want to transfer here. Okay, I would love to transfer over there, but the money goes through there over here to here, so it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna transfer over here. <clears throat> then I'll see with how many dudes I end up with. I'm 
I'm not sure this is worth it. Okay, so we transfer from here to over here. Money goes from here. Transfer over there from here. From here we transfer. Then goes blah blah blah. And eventually it's gonna end up in one of these nodes. Let's wait a bit to see how this goes before we assign the other merchants. Or maybe I'll just assign them now. Transfer over here and then I'll pull them as I see fit. I'll bring them as I see fit. So this goes through over there, from there to here. And through here to over there. We have one sp spare dude. Let's see how this goes. Could you please stop being a dick and become a tributary? Hello, Unimatsu. Good evening. And welcome. So, Unimatsu, you just joined. I've just finished the um, the world con the world conquest of the old world. And uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to, and for the people that join the stream now. So all of this is conquered. We're at tech 24, which means almost tech 24, which means raising will be useless at very soon at tech 25. Useless with regard to making points. These guys still hold provinces with the wrong culture, so I'm going to attack them. To try to... Um, Grab those provinces and convert them myself. That's and I'm gonna reform, form Spain, for the extra missionary, extra missionary strength, extra colonist. Then shortly after forming Spain or instantly after forming Spain, I'm going to um, switch to. A constitutional monarchy for the extra missionary and extra discount on culture conversion and even extra colonies. Really being a dick, aren't you? Colombia. Thanks, Unimatsu. Is there still a mole in Russia? What do you mean? I may have to form Russia. So there we go. No, oh, this guy is pretty shitty. I'm not gonna worry with it. So what exactly am I, am I waiting for? I'm waiting for 
waiting to be allowed to declare on these dunes. We, we're gonna need some cannons to speed this up. They just have these forts. Where is this guy transferring to? Hopefully it's gonna be to Bordeaux. He hasn't arrived yet. Steer it to Bordeaux, please. So let's just check where they're steering. Of course, steering the wrong way. I'm not sure why I'm putting this guy here. This is a mistake. This, might, this is a mistake. This is a wasted merchant. Oh, I'm doing it because then the trade would go... Yeah, but it ends up in Persia, which and then ends up in Constantinople. And So this was a mistake. The trade comes here from the east, goes over there. We steer here, add value. We steer over here to add some more value. We need the dude over here to add even more value. Goes to over here, then to Constantinople, then over there. From here, it should go. Um, should go over there. From here or to here, then here, and finally in the English Channel. That should add lots of value to the to these. It already added some, but it's gonna increase quite a lot. Why do I want to improve relations with you? I wanna kill you. I wanna kill you too. Allied with the United States, which is something I don't want. So how about you break alliance with Louisiana? Louisiana goes first. Or should the United States go first? Yeah, Louisiana should go first because then I'll have to ask, ask access. But then I need to attack the USA. Damn it. These guys have to ally each other. Or I'll just break the freaking truce and be done with it. It seems you're not collecting in Genoa. S seriously, I'm not collecting in Genoa. I always leave the merchants at the end nodes. Yes. But I, yes, I'm not. That was a mistake. I always leave them at the end nodes. That's why I was making so little money. And there was there I was saying this can't be right. And it wasn't, but it was not for the reasons that I thought that I thought. So let's recall this guy. I, I knew it, it couldn't be right. The, the trade income was so low. Thank you. Hoi hoi. I always leave the merchants in at least three merchants in the end nodes. Why the hell didn't I? Didn't I do it this time?
I guess I would, this was... Um, anyway. What the hell am I going to do here? So I attack Canada first, then go for the United States, then go for Louisiana. So I'll use the Navy, ask military access. I'll just use the Navy. So the United States is going next. Let's break their alliances. Damn it. So Louisiana is going to go down first, followed by Canada, the United States. This is a mistake. But it's it's a mistake. Let's recall this guy. I'm gonna have to move the capital soon. Two hundred tokens of interest. Can't believe I'm I have so much I am having so much trouble. Well I can actually because I've been colonizing like a madman 592 ducats for 12 colonies Oh, finally, they've seen the light. Welcome to the fold, Colombia. This would be annoying. Zazo. But we do have troops here, so let's use them. If they spawn, they spawn. That's 44,000. The Siberian tribes yet? No, they're still alive. Okay, <laughs> all of the sudden this became almost nothing, just nine ducats. It's just the value in this node and nothing else. Incoming zero. So this means I did a good job. Over here it should be the same thing, incoming zero. So I can choose to collect nine ducats over here or I can choose to I mean, I mean, steer over here, steer this a little bit more, zigzag. I can't do that, can I? All this money is going to end up... Over there, anyway. This is wasted money. 
there's any way we can actually make more money than collecting it at the end at the end node. Probably not. Or maybe we can at the very beginning of the stream of this. If we make more money come into this really early, at the end it's gonna be way more than nine ducats. Way, way, way more. So how can we do that? Transfer into Persia. If I don't put the merchant over here, the mer this will this will go here. Then down there, so no. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think this is worth my time. I'm, I'm, I want to be doing something else. I understand how this works, but it's not exciting for me. This is just not exciting. Not engaging. So, um, let's just do what? Let's maybe... If we had a couple more of merchants, I could do much more money. I could gain much more money than I'm currently gaining. I don't have them, so I'm going to give up and just collect over here and be done with it. There, done. Let's proceed. Transfer in the Philippines and collect in Genoa. I just have, I just have one free dudes. Unless this guy is going to become available. Yep. So with I have the couple of merchants needed to actually gain more money, so let's <laughs> seriously ugh. So I'm gonna transfer over here to, into here. Oh, am I going to do this? So this ends here. I don't have to worry about it. This money comes from here, goes there. This money goes over here. Half of it. The Philippines is a pretty weak node, just four ducats or five, not even five ducats. So let's transfer over here. From here goes, yeah, let's transfer over here. I'm not sure. And if we have another dude available, I'll transfer here. But it's probably silly. No. It's silly. From here to here. Well, it's totally not worth my time. I went from 200, 300 to 500. That's good enough with the merchants that I have. Like I said, not worth my time. Let's go continue and go after Mutapa. Only the main nodes that other tax profits from are really important to correctly steer as the ones behind it. The rest is just increasing value. Indeed. It's increasing value and 
when that value is very big, very high, that uh, that accounts to a, a huge amount of money at the end. This is just pathetic, the amount of money that's here. You see, I'm try I'm doing a massive chain. Well, not massive, but pretty big. Every time this 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 is steered, it, it adds value. So five percent over here, five percent over here, and always increasing, until at some point we we steer it. What the hell's going on here? That's what's going on. I just spotted the mistake. All of these adds 5%. 5% of 10 is not much, but 5% of 100 is something. 5% of 200 is even more, and so on. Like a snowball. I could have transferred over here in Mexico, but uh, since I don't have colonial nations, I barely have any trade power over here. Colonial nations add five extra five percent trade power everywhere if they have at least ten provinces. Okay, let's go finish these before we go, we um, become Spain. I really want to do this before we we become Spain because, like I said, we are going to lose the core creation cost discount as Spain. So coring is going to become very slow and very costly. So I would rather wait. Um, I mean, I would rather delay reforming than to and I'm pretty sure you could win that, but let's play it carefully and do this instead. And with some luck, enjoy your wipe. We have a huge advantage over them, so we don't even need that much luck. And goodbye. Make one stock to kill the Siberians. True. I will send some dudes there. But they're not a priority. That's pretty low development. An area with pretty low development. And yeah. The development is pretty low and we still have lots of time until the end of the game. Why are you colonizing all colonizing that much? All wasteland must also be your culture, exactly. I wanna see everything. What the hell? I wanna see everything with the Mishar color. Everything must be blue, the whole world or blue if I click it like this way. I don't even know what color this is. This yellowish, brownish, greenish color. So it, it sucks to see other colors. 
even if it's in, in uncolonized territory so mustard says joe tiger Okay, let's... Uh, I was gonna press that, but I won't. I'm behind in tech. Tech 26 is gonna be a... Very important tech. It increases the, the morale of the troops by one point. Funny how I've wasted military points for so long. And I'm almost up to date in tech. Just fall. Don't be shy. I know you want to rest a bit. Thank you. is barely giving any points it's been a while since I had the old ways the old ways events almost looks like I've been very unlucky the old ways event would still help a bit I think there was another dude alive here somewhere. It's probably not probably not worth it to delay the becoming Spain. Spain. No, it's not worth it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to form Spain. I think. We're gonna need lots of deep, or some deep, and lots of, or some, especially deep. That's what's needed. This is Castilian. Let's make this a state. You should instantly make, or am I wrong? Probably I am wrong. I was gonna say that should instantly make Castilian the dominant culture. The dominant, yes, totally. So you only need two prestes, 100 points go away, disappear. Another 100 over here. And we need to reform the government. That's a five stability hit. Because we cannot form Spain if we are um, a nomad. That's going to be swell for the zombies. But I think all the separatism will go away. So. Let's check it.
14 separatism in these provinces. Um, let's press this button. This is Arctic. This is like a crime, but I'm gonna have to do it. Oh well. So we've just reformed, which sucks. It's like, it really sucks to reform as a horde. I don't like it. Once a horde, always a horde. But if I don't do it, it's going to be more and more annoying. So I've already clicked enough. So let's form the Spanish nation. And we look at the uh, map for the last time as these as the Golden Horn. And press this button. So yes, please, new ideas. We instantly gain another colonist and another missionary and that's why I'm doing this. And all the Missionary stopped working. Funny. Um, ch -ch 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 the ideas. Why did I do this? Because, well, like I said several times, the Spanish have one extra missionary. Uh, one uh, extra missionary strength plus two missionary strength. They have an extra colonist and an extra missionary an extra global more global settler in increase of course this is gonna help us fight the only thing the spanish really like lack are coring cost ideas coring but they have pretty good ideas as it is so we have another extra we have an extra dude, let's use him. This is of course gonna reduce the, what the money that we're spending in colonies by a lot. And I think I need to repay the loans. This is important now, but it ends up ends up being counterproductive in the long run, and we still have 100 years to go. Unless I wanna go bankrupt, which I don't. Which I don't want to do. Which is something I don't want to do. This is almost all colonized. Australia will colonize here. Over the next five years, we'll probably colonize these, or lots of lots of of this stuff will be colonized, and I will start. We'll start more. Don't do Daru, it's near the capital. Yeah, I didn't do it. Thank you. Thank you. I said it a while ago that I didn't want to do this. Thanks for reminding me. Thanks a lot, actually. So, we're now a regular country. Which sucks. Terribly. But without out of the way, it's time to... I just fucked up again. Oh boy. I just screwed up again. I called this. I shouldn't have called this. You moron. Okay, whatever. Let's find some Mishar cultures culture provinces and just create a bunch of states without calling them this should do it 
There we go. Mishar, make this a primary culture again. So we're good. Cancel this. Okay, do I want this? Probably not. It's gonna be annoying, so get rid of it. Uh, yeah, goodbye. So this is our only state besides the one in the capital. Besides this one. Now let's demand points from the states and rename these because this needs to be culture converted These X's here were just to remind me that I shouldn't convert these, shouldn't culture convert it. They did their, their work, they did their job very, very well. But from this point on, we can culture convert it. We even have one state for the merchants. Awesome. So let's give him some influence. Can we drive their influence up to 100? I guess we can. Can I get out of it? I should be able to. So five. 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, yeah, 40, that's gonna put him at 40, this is gonna put him at 50, Whatever, let's see how this goes. We can still we can always create new states. So it's not a huge deal. Let's grab 200 Diplo. Can we drive these guys to 100 influence too? Um, to, yeah, 100 influence. I would rather not. Because I'm gonna have to interact with these guys quite a lot, especially to demand the uh, Inquisitor. So 150 will do just fine. Now let's interact with the uh, nobles. Demand uh, call a diet. Demand military support and tech up. And with this, I'm gonna do a very sh short. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, let's switch the government. So we're gonna become an administrative monarch. Uh, no, constitutional monarchy. And we have to create some states, some more states to give seats to the parliament. 
and grab ourselves probably another missionary. Before I go take a very small break. Separatism is mostly gone. Unless I'm seeing this wrongly. This was at 14 or something, now it's at, f at 5. And it's probably gonna go away next month, I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll be right back. Just a toilet break and I'm um, gonna go grab a coffee really quickly, so 4 minutes or so. Um, maybe I'll leave this map so that you guys can maybe see something you want to see. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hello, absolutely not Aram. And Paz Vendi. New person. Is Marco also eligible for a Spanish Culture Convert event or is that only for a certain set of time? I don't know. I have no idea. I never played as Spain. I never played... I basically never played as... I mean, I played as Spain back in 1.4. My first attempt to conquer the world in EU4. Um, so I did play as Spain, but it was so long ago that I didn't even remember. So... And the, this has changed a lot since 1.4. A lot. That playthrough is on YouTube if you want to see it. It's funny because I've I went I, many many times for a long time. I ended I went to I spent huge amount of times overextended above two thousand percent. I had a funny strategy to achieve a world conquest when pretty much everyone is, was saying it was impossible but then a patch came and f screwed screwed up that campaign but i did prove my point anyway so what's next i need to to do a debate because i want another missionary i think right now the most important thing is to get the conversions out of the way Or maybe we should instead... It's it's difficult to decide. Actually, it's really, really difficult. On one hand, I want to get the conversions out of the way. Because if I don't convert, there's no point. On the other hand, I need... I still have plenty of provinces that need to be converted. And soon I'll cap. Difficult choice. Now would be the time to start banking Diplom, but I said, but I said that the, I wouldn't use exploits. We still need to convert seven hundred provinces. Maybe more realistic number would be five hundred. Five hundred. I want to get the conversions out of the way. I'll have enough points to convert. Okay, now next about boosting stability to avoid dying to rebels. Soonish. Screw the points, I don't want to deal with zombies. Next. A truce with Canada, 1724. We need to create states to assign seats. I guess it makes sense to do them over here. Usually the best thing to do is to select some very shitty provinces and use those for the for the seats. But like I said, I don't want to. Let's make it simple and do the states over here. Assign the seats. I still want to move the capital, so I need points for that. Don't want to be slowed down by the lack of admin, that's why I'm prioritizing here. Ok, 
Can we start the debate? Not yet, let's wait until the end of the month. We can start another war. Not yet, we changed tag, this guy, all these guys lost morale. So, national unrest minus one. Galicia, Barcelona, Zaragoza, Madrid all gain a seat. Sure. I don't give a damn about the monthly local autonomy. We should be making more money now. At least we should. In theory, we should. Damn, you're wasting, wasting so much money. How can I fix it? Well, this would be a start. So, trade. Again. So from here to here again very little I really gained very little so let's recall this guy whatever this will all end up over here over there this guy's transferring This ends up here. This is... I don't give a damn about that. This ends up... In Persia, which in turn is gonna go over there. Oh, this guy is steering to the wrong, wrong place. Anyway, I don't think I can make much money from much more. Um, I'm definitely gonna make more money if I steer over here. If I steer here. This is 15. Um, this is like 17 ducats real at the beginning. So it's gonna help. But that don't be much. It's just not enough. I needed more merchants. So, we need to convert stuff, go to speed 4, not pay for the troops, I think. While we wait for the troops to end. We need to not pay as much for the, the colonies. Maybe do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 9 colonies and that should be plenty. Start repaying the loans, and when we have no when we have no loans, then go inside with the colonies. 
I love the backstorm. Yeah, I forgot that I have a dude here that needs to die. And I need a debate. Oh, I remember. For the extra missionary, I need to ditch humanist ideas. Oh, lovely. I'm not ready to do that. Or am I? Yeah, most of the separatism went away, with the exception of these provinces that still have some unrest for whatever reason, some separatism. We lost tolerance of Edens from our, our ideas. Totally not worth it. Let's see if those guys are alive for now. Thanks, the backstorm. I started driving to work and stopped to get gas. I looked at the phone and noticed you had started streaming. I was like, this guy waits for me to go to work to start. Now you're Spain. Sorry, the backstorm. I've been streaming all day, so you're. I don't know. I don't know. I've been streaming all day. Uh, with I made the short break, a two hours break. But if you see the ones, you'll see that I've, that I've that I've streamed a lot today. So I don't know what happened there. I've streamed four, five. Five or five around five hours plus these. Another two hours to in ten minutes. So I'm sorry, you're going to work. I mean, I know I'm 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 not sorry you go to work <laughs> because the worst would be if you didn't add work. What I'm trying to say is that well, I'm sorry that. Um, You feel that way. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So let's transfer from here. That's 18 ducats or more. That's going to help a little. Now what, Marco? Do you want to ditch humanist ideas? I'm gonna have to ditch humanist ideas. I didn't I didn't switch to constitutional monarchy for money because of money. Without humanist ideas, this is going to be so freaking painful to go to war with these guys. I 
I could grab a Theologian. <laughs> or I could delay the... Or I could delay this for 10 years. Grab some trade efficiency. For the next 10 years, while I finish off these guys. Or... It's still gonna take a long time. Okay, screw it. Goodbye. I hope I don't regret this. I have to think about it. Okay, can we stand? In the places converted, I can withstand a shit ton of unrest. The other ones, not really. So I need more missionaries and convert the places where I have unrest. Give priority to those. Then the unrest will go away. So we should be fine. Should be fine. And if we're in, in trouble, I'll just grab a, a theologian. So, yeah, goodbye, humanist ideas. You served me very well, but sh there's nothing I can do but to ditch you. So, we should start see, we should see some stuff here better. At least we'll see it a few days from now. Culture conversions. I wanted. I wanted the missionary, damn it. This changes, right? Every month. Every time I click this. I think it's every month. There's a chance that might change. So let's wait one month to see it. That didn't take long, did it? Damn it. Let's grab this guy for now. Seeing way too much unrest. Since we have some rebels to kill, I might, might as well go after looks like the separatism is back in some places Okay, screw it. Let's put stability. At least wait for cores before ditching. The, f the thing is, blue, and, uh, blue RNG. You're right, I should have waited. But the thing is, if I can't handle it now, I won't be able to handle it when it's time to eat these guys. Because, well, at least Mexico has a shit ton of stuff that gives overextension. Same thing for Peru. Same. Uh, these guys also have some. The truce will be up 1724. I'm gonna spend 400 on min over the next three years. We should be able to make enough to to move the capital. This has an this had an instant effect on the 
the money we're paying for the colonists. For the colonies. So now we have four colonists, four missionaries. And at the end, excuse me, at the end of this month, hopefully we'll have another missionary. Fingers crossed. There we go. This is really easy to, easy to pass. Whatever, whatever you want it, I'll give it to you. There you go. Like I said, priority to the places where, where we have unrest. Kind of. I still, I still want to, um, I still want to get rid of the. Um, I still only want to convert places where we have a cathedral. This looks like it seems to be exploitive, but having uncored provinces in states is like a magnet for my for me to click it. So let's get rid of that. Why didn't you take religious? I took religious. I have religious ideas. Don't know where you got that idea. Speed 4. Here comes another loan. You know, I could press this button. This is this should be highly profitable. And culture conversions are not affected by these. Let's press it once. This affects the absolutism, but we can do it once or twice. Every time we press this, we gain almost 2000 ducats. Let's press it once again. And that's it. We're gonna go to zero corruption from this point on. And be more careful with um, colonial colonies. Now we have four colonists. Well, they're all converging on this stack. No, just that one. We're making 640 ducats from trade, which is not terrible, given that the world was raised several times. Okay, awesome. Just what I needed. Didn't I? Man. <sighs> wow. The merchant.
merchants lose 20 loyalty, the merchants lose 10 influence. Looks like we're gonna have to kill some merchants. Revoke the merchant land first. I, I wish I could. I just give it. I just gave it to them. This didn't wait. Uh, not even three months. Months. That's fucking unlucky. So I can only revoke this by March, so September. Well, actually, do I did around six months. It's gonna be this one. Hurry up, will you? We have plenty of troops, we could use them as... We could use them to decrease the unrest. They are already doing that in... over here. Let's see. If it doesn't matter if it's this one or this one, it doesn't really matter much. I would rather. Okay, problem solved. Let's go finish off these guys. And I guess raise some more taxes. Whatever.
Man, this when it it rains, it never rains, you know. It, uh, I mean, it doesn't rain; it pours, all always. Again, I'm in a situation where I need the f the, the advisor level three advisor, but it's a, a, a merchant that I need. Okay, I'm going to start ditching the mercenaries. I'm sure I'm going to regret it, but... That's it. If I do more than these, I'll certainly regret it. Yay, merchants gains loyalty. Our merchants loses loyalty and I mean gain diplo. I don't want the merchants pissed off because they're giving me lots of money. It's March, it's time to remove the provinces from them. In the other province, under their control, what the hell? Which one? Oh shit, this is a bug. I'm pretty sure they had Madrid. And, oh, fudge. So, over here it's counting as, they, as if they still have Madrid. Controlled provinces, 40%, which is a bloody lie. Because I only have these states, and I'm 100% sure I gave Madrid to them. Since Madrid is a seat of the government, of the... This is a bug. So this is a bug. By an event, gave these to the gave Madrid and a bunch of other places as seats of of government. Since the province can't be both a seat of the government and be as assigned to an estate, what happened here is that I'm now screwed. Because I, th this is counting as if they still have Madrid, when in fact they don't have it. So I'm gonna have to create a bunch of states just to dilute the influence. <sighs> Bugs. What this is gonna do is all of these is gonna go for the for these, which is something I really wanted to avoid to speed up the bloody thingies, the body these, you know, less seats, faster debates. Right, if I don't do this, 
These guys are gonna take over. Because of a bug. Unbelievable. Does the reload fix it? I doubt it. I've seen this before. Now that I think about it. I just didn't, didn't remember it. Fucking unbelievable. Oh, um, what, I, what the hell? This is gonna update at the end of the month. This is stupid. We don't need all these states. This is stupid. Or after I unpause, this will, this will update. Okay, it already updated. What a fucking mess. I was supposed to only have one state to make the debates go way faster. And cheap. They would go faster and they would be cheap. I don't have money. Hello, Aljun. No, I did form. I did form. Thanks, I'll pay Halloween for you too. I did form the Golden Horde. The Spain as the Golden Horde. Okay, just in case Blue RNG is right, let's restart. I seem to recall this happening, and a reload didn't fix it. But let's see it. Maybe I'm recalling wrongly. The issue is that there's um, a conflict between the parliament because I'm a, I'm now a constitutional monarchy and the estates. <laughs> the fall of Kyoto event uh, giving nothing and and uh, a state still kept the influence even though it has no province assigned to them because I can't remove this from the clergy because now it's a seat of parliament even though the game thinks and rightly so that this sign this province is assigned to the to these dudes so even though they don't have a single province under their control just a while ago they had 40 percent influence so i had to create all these states just to keep their influence in check So we have to wait until all these dates, all of these goes away, until we can revoke the, all of these. But by that time, 
the every freaking year the game will auto assign provinces to the parliament or give me some very nasty events, very nasty modifiers. Swell. I had my reasons not to want the states over here. I didn't want to core these. Remember, I didn't want to core these. It was a mistake. Then I wanted to keep states over here. And the mistake led to this problem with this bug. That I wouldn't ever that I wouldn't have to go through. Okay, looks like I may be able to ditch one state. Hmm, okay. They, the, um, their influence went away, but still it's at 75. Okay, the reload actually fixed it, thank god. So the game updated after, thankfully. Thankfully. It fixed the issue, blue RNG. Maybe I, I went in the, with the test, with that test, because it was made in a test game. I reloaded and it was still showing here and I simply assumed it wouldn't go away. But I just have to wait until the end of the month, the game updates. Great. That's our, that's extremely good news. Extremely good news, really. Now, of course, I gave more stuff to these guys. And it now updated. Okay, I truly cannot afford 300 tokens for colonies. It's still early. I did uh, do war taxes, so should I keep these guys? Maybe I should save some ducats. Speed four. June of seventeen twenty four. So I lost, I gained two missionaries, but I lost, uh, gained two missionary strength, but I lost one missionary strength from being at just one, a plus one stability. I need to go back to plus three stability as soon as possible to speed up the conversions and to reduce the unrest
Okay, one last colony. So we're finally making money. Until we repay the loans, we should want to try just to spend like 100 ducats or something along those lines. We'll still, we will still be colonizing a lot. So these guys broke their alliance between with, with Mexico and just allied with um, the USA and just allied Mexico. I mean, I first I broke the alliance between them and the United States. And now they've allied Mexico. So let's see, you've rivaled Canada and California. So if I go eat California, there's a chance you might rival Mexico. So California it is. It's gonna be California then. No problem. I have no truce with you. No problem. Can't get there. What is Mishar culture? Yeah, Mishar culture is is um, from the is a primary culture in the. It's one of the cultures in the culture group from the Golden Horde. Now this is completely you know. It has nothing to do with the, with the beginning of the game, but still, there's Crimean, there's Astrakhani, there was Kazani, there was... No guy, I think. No guy, no guy, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's Kazan, it's... These, these, these uh, cultures, those cultures over there. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't think I would be losing so much money at this point. It's rather surprising. What the hell is going on? Besides the loans. Oh, that's what's going on. I completely forgot about these. That's what's going on. Time to ditch some of these guys. I was thinking that was too weird and something was up and that's what's going on the horde has um, 
extra 30% force limit. So we were at our force limit, give or take. And I'm so stupid. I could have simply... <laughs> Whatever. There are many provinces here that are not part of the trade company now. And that's part of the problem too. I could be making more money from production. I could be making more money from trade. That's the problem. So let's give priority to these provinces. So I can add all of these to the trade companies. Okay, whatever, let's remove it. Okay, let's focus over here. When all when all this goes away, I'll add everything with a click to the trade company. Corruption also reduces the unrest, so maybe I want this corruption. It uh, doesn't affect the corruption, does not affect the culture conversion cost. Which is weird, it should, but it doesn't. I think it's a bug. The corruption is still going down. Um, because of positive stability being ahead of time and basically that's it October of doesn't have a temple, I'm not going to worry about it. With five missionaries, <laughs> we'll be fine. And so, while until we have loans, I'm going to... This is the maximum that I'm willing to spend. 76 ducats. We repay the loans. All this, this income is going to go straight to the colonies. You didn't remove the enemy's province. What? Oh shit. Thank you. What a derp. I thought I had... Didn't I click it? Maybe I clicked the, the one next door. <laughs> Thanks Blue RNG. 
Are you sure you don't want to be a moderator? I could just use... I gave you a sword last time for being so so useful. I guess you ditched it. I wasn't the one who did it. Okay. I figured that much. Alright, so let's recall another colonist. Why all the colonies? asks Aldion. It's because the non-colonized provinces also have culture. And religion. So this is as the Midag, the culture is Malai and the religion animist. So when I open up this map mode, I only want to see Mishar. Okay, this is our cue to peace out. We can't raise, so no point trying to ride. Let's wait for the social mobility event or something. Unless we're not eligible because we're a constitutional monarchy. And we've capped a tipple, which sucks. Culture conversion cost convert some stuff. Maybe the, the easiest ones, because we if we convert the easiest ones now, but um, we may end up being adjacent to the hardest ones. <clears throat> and the truly hardest ones, I've already converted them, or I'm in the process of converting them <clears throat> as, a, as a just in case measure. My voice is failing. Bunch of colonies are about to finish. Lots of clicking. <laughs> Okay, until everything's converted, we're gonna cap several times, I think. So, I might as well spend the points. Right now. There we go. Just amount of provinces that I've just converted in or in, in started the conversion process. Okay. 
quite interesting. Right. So we can have like eight colonies going. A bunch of them are about to finish. I'm about to move my capital. So let's recall these guys. Get a few more colonies going. So that, that's going to put us at 11. For a very short period. If uh, maybe not. Because these, these two are about to finish. Let's see if I can start another colony. Before moving the capital. Oh nice, we're at maximum maintenance. And we're still making a profit. 400 ducats. <clears throat> so we have five colonies. Another three are about to start. I, I settled with eight or nine. Or was it nine? I don't recall. I guess we'll soon find out. I'm not, I don't have to move the capital just yet. I don't. I could go beat him up. And only move the capital when this is about to core. Sorry, <laughs> James won't sleep. He's jumping up and down in his crib. He's exciting with uh he's excited with the um, one culture. <laughs> Give him a hug from me, will you? Okay, let's keep converting these. Let's go with the map. I choose certainly. What the fuck? Didn't I? I thought it was California or was it something else? Someone else? Probably it was someone else. Yeah, I'm. I'm maybe I don't ever choose with someone else. Whatever. I thought it was California. Forty-two ducats, and yeah, that's eight colonies. I think he had too much candy, says all June. <laughs>
At this rhythm, the whole world will soon be Hindu. We're colonizing, uh, we're converting really fast. Awesome. Let's let's recall another three dudes. Colonize all the little islands. I should be colonizing towards Siberia. Okay, this is a clear overkill. I don't need can. Oh, I need cannons. I really do. Let's go farm a stack to go kill the dudes in Siberia. There we go, no juice. So while we finish colonizing that part of the world, let's go say hello to these guys. I'm gonna use the Imperialism CV just in case they have some wrong religion province, wrong culture province. I'm not sure they have, probably they don't. Yeah, they have a few, so I'm gonna use the Imperialism CV. You'll be able to next him. Despite that, we'll be able to next him. They have nowhere to go. They have nowhere to go. Because we have no provinces in the new world, so no Wakamo. Unless they send the ships, they might. Should be really silly, but... I mean, that... Realistically, why would they bother to send troops to invade a dude of this size? They will just... They don't have nukes or something, so... But this is the U4 AI, so... We probably see, will see them invading... Europe or something. These forts are obsolete, so they're gonna fall rather quickly. I don't have, a, I don't have um, a temple there. I'm gonna be above the 76 
pockets that I want, wanted to spend, but it's not a huge deal. I'm gonna spend more, but like I said, it's not a huge deal. So I'm hoping after we eat these guys, these two will rival each other. Maybe. And after Canada is gone. Can we get there in time? Enabling force march. Guys, just have to hold for a little while longer. Help is on the way. Come on. Bummer. Let's retreat. that mean to move the capital That's reasonable, 128 dockets. Okay, see you later. All June, thanks for dropping by. Good night. Everyone finished their orders? Nope. Seventeen twenty five. 
The end of the game is fast, fast approaching. Wow, only 16, 1600 men per month. I don't... I'm not careful with the manpower. I'm gonna run out in a heartbeat. Run out of men. Let's see if they're willing to surrender. Their our advantage is so overwhelming. Maybe they they're willing to do it. It's doubtful because they still have their army, but who knows? There we go. Oh, then they have something else that I'm not seeing. Where is it? Oh shit, I can't make this into a core. I forgot about that. Ugh. Oh, forget forgot about this. Again nine each month month. 18 months we can wait 18 months for these and to next them no problemo I mean, I would rather not have to wait, but... I guess I'll have to. Let's work on Kanda. Goods produced plus 10%, that's great. I'm gonna ditch this guy. We're no longer a horde, so... Should do that. Alright, let's go kick their ass.
This declaration of war might have been a mistake. To do it so early. Just because I still need to move the capital. We'll see. Didn't see it. Yeah, we're almost done. We done China. Okay, let's hope these guys be sound soonish. Manpower is still holding. Still have plenty of stuff to convert, but we're getting there, we're getting there. That's for sure. Whatever, sit tight, sit tight, sit tight. Well, that's too late now. I 
I only like to move the units when they all achieve the objective. What's was what's up with this? Looks like the the war ended. This is very f annoying. It's gonna go away. On its own. Well, now we're talking. Call him Philippe the Great. He has great stats. Hopefully, he'll do great things. Six hundred points. Why do I need admin besides scoring and moving the capital? I need to boost stability, so and that stupid event just increased stability by fifteen percent. The price of stability. Hello, um, scary by Hida, scary by Hida. Still only 81% war score. Yeah, because we didn't take their capital or whatever this is. So the capital was up here.
Guess I missed the province. This is enough. We take forever to core, so might as well start it right now. Yep, totally enough. Just no, it's not enough. Yay! Now is it enough? It is. So, good night. Just five overextension, which is great. Shouldn't core any of these, but. I guess I have to. Okay, screw it, let's call it. Just look at the amount of, of admin that we have to pay for to call this stuff. It's really a lot. Thirteen months. Wait, wait, wait. This is this is our this is our culture. So we can call it really quickly. So let's be careful about it, shall we? Just core three of them or four. Okay, but we can't be sold with California. I can move the capital, don't worry about it beyond design, but thank you. Okay, this should let us annex California. And if I'm right, Louisiana, sh Louisiana should rival Mexico. These guys should rival each other. Hopefully, that is. see what happens in a worst case scenario they'll rival each other after I murder the United States time to move the capital Oh, rebels are... yeah, rebels, 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 <laughs> always the rebels.
I can't move the capital while there are rebels in the country. Right. One more province, two more provinces, and we'll be able to click this button. These buttons. Add all of these to the trade companies. Gain a few more merchants. Maybe. Or maybe not. Yep. We'll gain another one. The thing is, the USA is a two-war job. That's gonna put us at 1757. I am Portuguese. Scary Pajita. What the hell is a Pajita? Sorry about my ignorance, but I'm I'm not a native English speaker, as you probably noticed it by my accent. Okay, these guys. Okay. These guys have lots of forts, or at least up to date forts. One up to date fort, so that's much better. Let's finally move that capital. All right, thanks for sharing. It's from the movies, scary, scary, but the death come from the sky. Okay, Ida, the commander. Ever seen that movie? Good things. Anyway, I'm becoming very tired. I need to go to bed. It's past 1 a.m. Um, tomorrow I have to wait up at 7 a.m. So I think we did a fine progress. The world is the world is looking pretty much Hindu. The world has 2,600 provinces. Almost 2,000 at this point are Hindu. Then we have another 255 that are uncolonized. So basically we need to convert these ones, some of these. Anyway, I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys, not sure yet, maybe next Sunday, probably. I'll stream next Sunday. I can't stream before that. Most likely I won't be able to stream. Maybe next Thursday I have a couple of hours, but we'll see. So thanks for the support and for keeping me company. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.
the backstorm is asking Marco what made you decide to stream make YouTube videos in English instead of your native tongue it's it was almost by accident I was doing an I've been a member of the paradox plaza forum for quite some time I decided I wanted to do an after action report as Portugal in Hearts of Iron 3 the first world conquest as a small country in that game as far as I know so I did an after action report near the end when it was time to fight the Soviets I, I said to myself wow this is gonna be a huge amount of work this is gonna take forever and one day if I do it with pictures and text so I asked if people wanted to see a video instead of the regular after action report with pictures then the reception was positive and I did the videos and I liked it so much that I never stopped doing those videos so the that forum is an English speaking forum so yeah I was writing in English and I ended up commenting in English for the people that were following the actual after action report to understand what I was doing I mean so that we could communicate their their players just like me so they understood what I was doing but you know that's all how it happened and I never stopped until this day someday I'll probably stop but it's not it won't be it won't be today nor in the near future I think so yeah good night I'll see you guys soon take care